the new Apple TV. And we believe it is the future of television. Apple is starting to treat the biggest screen in our homes as more than a side project. Today at an event here in San Francisco, it showed off the new Apple TV box that CEO Tim Cook said was the future of television. So is it? Apple set up demo living rooms so journalists could try out the new Apple TV after today's announcements. Let's take a look. First, there's new hardware, which now starts at 150 bucks. Like the old Apple TV, it relies entirely on the internet to get video content. But there's a new remote control that gives you new ways to tee up that content. A touch surface lets you swipe through apps or menus, and you can press on it to select what you want. There's play and pause, and for the first time, even volume buttons too. Or you can just talk to Siri. She's got her own button on the remote. Press and hold and say, show me some funny movies. Going to get some on the bottom now. Only the ones with the Muppets. This is much easier than chicken pecking every letter of a search. One thing she can't do, however, is make recommendations based on your tastes, like Netflix and Android TV do. But she can search for movies and TV shows across different video apps you've got installed, so you won't be forced to buy Hunger Games from Apple if you can get it free on Netflix. The big question is, can I use Apple TV to watch the shows that really matter to me? Apple's assortment of supported video services is pretty limited right now. There's Netflix, Hulu, and HBO, but so far, no Amazon or live cable channel replacement services, like Sling TV. It's promising to see Apple opening up an app store for video services, but what we don't know yet is who it's going to let in. Of course, Apple TV is no longer just about video. This thing can run all sorts of apps, including games and shopping and sports. Apple TV is one of the most sophisticated TV computers I've seen, and outside app developers who are already used to writing for Apple can finally get on it. But to really be the future of TV, Apple's going to have to do more than match what's already available on other set-top boxes or a plain old cable subscription.